what makes a really good decathlete in my eyes is being disciplined and courageous. I see it more as humble arrogance. Arrogance because we think we can take you on in every event, but usually most weekends we get beaten by you. See, he's just being humble. He, he's gonna work more on the arrogance part because we actually beat them. But three to four times a year we do the decathlon and that's when we show up and show out. So follow us along with a couple of events and we'll show you Engineering the Play by the University of Washington. My run up in the long jump is 123 feet and so therefore it's around 18 steps. So when coming in, I wanna be able to start nice and big, kinda of like you're coming out the blocks. Through that middle section, I'm gonna be bouncing, setting up my, my good hip lift and tall. And then the last section of my jump, I'm gonna be setting up the jump. So I'll naturally find that my hips drop a little bit. And as I get on the board, my, head, my shoulders and chest will drop a little bit back as I stick out my foot and use that to kind of pole vault and propel myself up in the air. And that will kind of lead to hopefully a big jump at the end of it. In the pole vault, when it comes to technique, you basically just have to pick the pole up, sprint all out, you lower the tip, put it inside the box, and what you have to try is to create a lot of space here to create like a big bend on the pole and actually use that so that when it recoils, it kind of slingshots you vertically. That's how you get the height. There's two different step patterns in the 110 hurdles. You've got your start, which is usually seven to eight steps to the first hurdle. And then in between each hurdle is going to be three steps, which are really tight and compact. So as you come in for the first steps over the first hurdle, you wanna make sure you're pumping your arms, staying tight, and you're tacking the hurdle with a bent leg, keeping your chest forward. As you're bringing your chest round, you, bring, you activate your trail leg to come through and round and down. Now you're in between these hurdles, so you've got to really keep your strides nice and tight, almost like you're shuffling across the ground all the way through the other nine hurdles in the race. So in the high jump, what you basically want to do is to transform the speed you get on the run to vertical force. To do that, you have to go kind of fast, not all out, but you have to run pretty fast. Plant your foot down and try to stay away from the bar as much as possible to be able to have that block that is going to throw you up in the air vertically. Once you take off and you're in the air, you basically have to be really patient, especially on the higher bars. And once you get to the bar, you basically arch your body backwards, which is kind of tricky and a lot of people struggle doing this because you're basically facing the opposite direction, so you don't see the bar. You also need pretty good body awareness to do that because you have to feel without seeing it where the bar is. So now you know more about the decathlon and what builds a good decathlete. So follow us along on our UW track journeys as we chase another Pac-12 title in summer. Appreciate you all in the support. Go dogs. Go dogs.